guys, welcome back to my channel, The Diva Soul. I'm Nidhushri Singh and I'm back with a new video. This video is a different type of video. I'm doing this type of video for the first time and the video is products that I regret buying. Uh, so firstly, before starting with, you, uh, with the video, I need to make one thing very clear. This video is not meant to demean, disrespect or defame any brand. So that as that I've said that, let's begin. This video will be based on completely honest reviews. I am not going to be biased towards any brand, any any company, anything of that sort. Anything of that sort is not going to happen in any of my videos. Not only this, in any of my videos, you'll never find biased reviews. I'll be giving you very honest and to the point reviews. Now, starting with the video. The first product of this, uh, in this video would be an eye cream. I have kept this eye cream, but I don't know why I did not throw it away. It's a very old eye cream. I just found it in my in my makeup stash. So this is from Aroma Magic. I usually love products from Aroma Magic, but I have no idea why this one did not work out for me. It's a, it is the Aroma Magic under eye cream, and this is with the product. It did not work well for me. I usually I had I still do have terrible dark circles, so I used it for them, and it did it did not seem to reduce my dark circles. So I just did. Now, moving on to the second product is from Mama Earth Tea Tree Hair Mask and this is the product. It is meant to reduce dandruff and itchy scalp. Honestly speaking, it did not. It did not work well for me. I kept on using it again and again. You know, maybe you use it for two to three weeks and then it shows the result. It does not. You can literally look. I have almost emptied the container. Almost. It still did not work well for me. So this is the second product from Mama Earth Tea Tree Hair Mask. Now moving on to the third product. I have two scrubs in today's uh, video. So this is from Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing Daily Scrub. Firstly, I do not understand the point of daily scrub. You should not exfoliate your skin on a daily basis. You should not. So I do not understand this concept. Secondly, even what's the point of it being a daily scrub when it does not clear back blackheads? So this is the third product. Now moving on to the fourth product. It is another face scrub from Jovi's D Tan Face Scrub. It has similar issues. Why is it a scrub when it does not help clear out blackheads? It is. Uh, it is also D Tan. It did help. You know, you know D Tan my skin a little bit. But yeah, it's it is a scrub. Its main function is to clear out blackheads and you know exfoliate your skin properly. But it did. So this is on. This is also in the list. So now moving on to the final product or products I should say. I ordered this product with a lot of hope and I uh, you know that it would work out for me. Every time I open Facebook, I see an advertisement of this brand and I'm like, oh, like everyone was using it. It is working out for everyone. I was like, it was, if it is working out for everyone, it should work out for me too, right? Everyone has a different type of hair texture and hair type, but it's working for everyone. So why not me? I, I don't have some very different hair texture or very different hair type, right? So I ordered this product and I've seen a lot of fellow bloggers and content creators making reviews on this product and they are like, this product is very amazing. This product gives you soft hair, shiny hair, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know why they do it. Whether it actually works out for them or they are actually just doing it to get featured on their page with the like 40, 50k following and getting more exposure exposure and more followers. I don't know either what is the actual reason. Not throwing shade on anyone, just being honest here. So I have no way, no idea why why if if it is if it is working out for them, well and good. But if it isn't, if it isn't, then giving out reviews that aren't honest, you're not being honest to your work is not a very good thing. So now moving on to the next product, it's from, it's these uh, shampoo kit from Free Will. I ordered this, uh, I posted a story on my Insta as well, I, like two to three weeks ago or about a month ago, I have no idea. And I have also used this product, you can see I have used this product. So I started using this product and, and when the first time I washed my hair, it was like, it made my hair softer, but my hair was always already soft. I didn't, it wasn't damaged. It, I wanted to stop my hair fall. I want to get, I want to, uh, you know, strengthen my hair and reduce the hair fall. And that is what the criteria I filled out on the form. There's a form on the website that you have to fill and then you get your, get your product. Uh, so I was, the main reason I ordered this was for anti-hair fall. And now it increased my hair fall two to three times. Imagine, I was just like, I was like, 
what the main reason I ordered this shampoo was to reduce my hair fall. It has increased my hair fall two to three times, and what's the point of using it? So after using it for two to three weeks, I don't know why I continued using it for two to three weeks. Uh, then I finally stopped. I switched to my Sunsilk shampoo again, which works very well for me, and my hair fall is reducing again. And I'll try out some other home remedies for my hair fall now. So I would not recommend this uh, this this product, and I do regret buying it. Um, I, as it is, I don't experiment a lot with my hair, and now after using, uh, I tried experimenting with my hair and then having a bad experience. Now I'm even more scared to experiment or uh, try new products for my hair. So if you uh, you, you know when I ordered this product. So I told my elder sister that uh, I'm ordering this kit from Feeble and she was like uh, it did not work very well for me but I was like still let me try what if you know it might have happened that you must have ordered the wrong ingredients or something or it must, it must have happened that I have ordered the wrong ingredients if it is working out for you guys well and good continue using it if it if it works for you but it did not work for, work for me so I'm not going to recommend it to you guys and uh, so I do regret buying all of these products and I hope in future other products that from their brand. I like other products from their brand. Free will. This is the only product that they make, and that's this is the only product that I've used. So I do not like it. Other other brands from Jovi's also. I haven't used any other product. Clean and Clear. I've used their oil control face wash, and it does work. Aroma Magic. I have written a review of their face mask on my blog. I have used their moisturizer, and uh, those two products I like. I didn't like this product. And Mama Earth also. This is like the. I think this is the only product that I use. My mother uses another hair mask from Mama Earth, but it does work for her. So maybe it works for her, but it did not. This one, this did not work for me. So I'm not recommending it to you guys. And this was all for this video. If you guys liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. And you can follow me on different social media handles: Instagram, Twitter. You can check out my blog and. Uh, other places, other social media handles like Facebook, and I'll be mentioning the links in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Bye.